Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video, guys, to any of you having any of the following these three cars. I'm talking about Ford C-Max, Ford Fusion, Lincoln MKZ with a hybrid engine, guys. Hybrid or energy engine will work in both cases. That same engine and transmission has been used in all these three vehicles. And if you have check engine light on and any of the following codes, such as code P0100, code P0101, 102 or 103, any of these three codes, we will explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it. Now, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now, if you guys need to buy new parts, sensors, tools, and you want to save quite a bit of money, check out the link in the description of the video below. Oh, that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's explain what we have here that's the engine guys that's actually installed in those in all these three vehicles okay i'm talking about c-max fusion lincoln mkz so ford lincoln you know they develop them together that's the upper engine cover of your engine guys okay we had it removed on that c-max because it's actually under the <laughs> windshield a little bit but on the fusion and the mkz will be more wide open uh, but right here you can see that's where your air filter is located the car will get its air from here it will go through the air filter come out and go to the throttle body but right here okay right after the air filter guys you will have that sensor that sensor is known as mass airflow sensor but it actually it's two different sensors in one it's mass airflow sensor and intake temperature sensor at once guys so because right here you can see we have two different components one right here and one on the inside so checking this thing out now guys okay will practically okay uh, uh, do two different things one it will calculate how much volume of air the engine is getting number two the temperature of the air because the temperature has different density depending on the temperature of the air and if that sensor okay is bad guys it's very likely that you can get any of these four codes anything from p0100 to code p0104 now something else okay uh, what could cause that as well bad sensor is one of them number two dirty mass airflow sensor we have a special video that explains how to clean mass airflow sensor on ford vehicle on our main youtube channel how to repair guys check it out it will teach you how to do that number three this is the wiring harness okay the wiring harness okay uh, when you install it okay the sensor will go uh will go right here okay and when you push it in make sure it goes all the way in and later install the red okay uh, red thing as well push it all the way in otherwise it may not uh, contact correctly uh, if that still doesn't work inspect the wires and make sure you don't have a broken wire sometimes people will try to disconnect it and they will yank the wires out so make sure that they're communicating here but number one bad sensor number two dirty sensor number two, three disconnected wire or broken wire hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time